Hi, this is Rex Carton with the University of Alabama at Birmingham, and today I'm going to be talking about some new features in the Asapi X library. Asapi X is a library I wrote. It's available open source on GitHub. Um, you can just go to github.com forward slash Rex Carton, and you'll, you should be able to see it there. And today, specifically, I'm going to be talking about the new feature of facades. And so facades are wrappers around the Eclipse scripting classes and they're kind of uh, like duplicate classes and they allow you to do some cool things like unit testing and they also have async and await support and it works just like you think it should. You're not going to have applications crash um, easily like they do if you're if you're hitting the real VMS objects because it's going to handle a lot of the COM threading under the covers so you're not going to have to think about which thread you're on. Okay, so this is a significant improvement to the previous uh, SAPI X uh, versions. So let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio to get started. Let's go to File New Project. We'll make a console application and we'll call this um, ESAPI X Facade Test. And let's add some references. We'll add our VMS references. We'll let's configure this to be 64-bit. And let's say that we had a class. We'll call it Name Tester. And the Name Tester class, the only function that it has is to check to see whether a name of a plan is valid. So let me just write this in here. So it takes a plan setup as the input, and then it uses a regular expression. So this may look unfamiliar. That's OK. Um, this is called a regular expression, and it just is a, a pattern, a string pattern, um, which uh, can evaluate um, other strings. And so we are going to see if our plan names match our guidelines for our institution. So it's a very simple method. It takes a plan setup and then it tests the ID of the plan to make sure that it matches a certain kind of pattern. And then it returns a true or false whether it, it passed the test. Okay, this is a very normal, um, you know, simple method. And the way that you normally unit test, um, and if you want to stay in Visual Studio, is you can right click a method name and say create unit tests. And then it's going to make a new project if we don't already have one. We don't. So it's going to create this unit test project. It's already set up a class for us, name tester tests. And the way that a unit test normally works is you set up the problem. So we would give it a plan setup. And let's see if it's smart enough. It is. And we would give it an ID. Let's do one that should pass at our institution. And then we would do assert is true. Um, and then we would say we would call our name checker, name tester class is valid name. And we would input our, our plan setup. Okay. So this is a normal scenario, very simple unit test. And the cool part about unit tests is that as you change your code, you would you'd be able to run this again and just make sure that everything is still working like you expected. The problem here is we cannot create a plan setup class. It doesn't take, uh, there's no constructor for it that takes, um, it says zero arguments. And this is true for a lot of classes in Eclipse. Um, you just cannot set them up and you can't, even if we could set it up, um, Normally, you don't have the ability to set parameters um, for that for that um, object. So, how do you get around this? It's um, we could have made a a method that instead of taking a plan setup, took a string, and then we could have just passed in the ID instead of passing in the full plan. But I have found that it's not uncommon that you are wanting to test. Uh, the actual class, you're wanting to test something on the actual class. So, that is what the facades are for. The facades, one of the functions of them is that they will cover up this problem and you won't, 
you won't even know that you're dealing with a facade, um, but you'll be able to test it very easily. Let me show you how it works. So let me show you what I've done. I've pulled the Varian DLLs out and I deleted our unit test project and we're going to try this again a different way. This time we are going to add a NuGet package and that is going to be the Asapi X library. So you have to search for Asapi. If you search for Asapi X it does not work for some reason. Um, and then I've got these different versions in here. Um, this is Carlos's um, project. Um, you search for Asapi, you're going to find the different versions for the different versions of Eclipse. So I'm on 13.6. You also want to pay attention to the version number here. The version of this uh, is 1.1.0.2. The reason why is because this software iterates pretty fast. And if you're having a problem following along with this tutorial, it's probably because you're on a different version of uh, Asapi X. All right, so you press install. When you do that, it's going to bring in a lot of other libraries, some other dependencies that Asapi X is expecting. Let's go back to our name tester class. And now that that Asapi X is installed, we should be able to add a new using statement, Asapi X facades. Now the facades are, um, just so you can see here, if you go back to GitHub, and you look at the facade folder in Asapi X, you'll see that there's an API and a types, and these are exact duplicates of the Eclipse um, scripting API classes. Oh, they're very close. Um, they have some extra functions uh, because they serve as both um, shells for the real classes, so you can interact to, with Varian through these classes, and they also serve as little dummy objects that you can unit test. Um, so let's see how you unit test using these facades. So we still have our, our, our thing here, but I did delete that project. So we're going to need to right click it and say create unit tests. Press OK. It's going to build a new MS test project. Um, we are going to need, we're going to have to add the Asapi uh, library to this test project as well. So I'm going to grab the 13.6 again, press OK should pop up a box for all the installs. All right, so just added all of those to the unit test project. Okay, let's do the same thing. We're going to set up a new plan setup. Let's add our using. And look what we can do now. We can now add and we can initialize a new plan setup object. We can also change any property that we want on it. So the underlying magic of the facades in Asapi X are that they're dynamic. And because they're dynamic, um, they can, you can dynamically add all of these properties um, so that you can test them. And then when you're really connected to the real object, you will get the live hot data from ARIA. All right, so in this case, um, I, I'm giving it an ID that I know should pass. So I'm going to say assert is true. This is how you write unit tests. And then I would do name tester is valid name. And I would pass in my plan setup object. Okay. So I it should pass because I know this is this is the type of thing that that regex is supposed to allow. So let's try to run it. The way you run a unit test is you right click the uh, the test and you can say run test. This is going to fail. We should see some uh, box over here. Here we go. Okay, so I just want to show you this so you know how to handle it. So that unit test failed, and it says bad image format exception. That means it's not built in the right architecture. If you go and change this, the configuration, you go, oh, this should be set to x64. This test is still going to fail with the same, uh, same thing. And the reason why that is, is because you need to go to test, test settings, and change the default architecture of uh, test running. And it should be on x64. Okay. If you don't do that, it's not, it's not going to work. So now that we've done that, let's rebuild. And let's try to run that test again.
I had to clean the solution and uh, do rebuild so it can discover this test. I want to show you this. It's going to fail. This is what a unit test is really for. So I made a method that I thought was right. You know, I wrote obviously this is a this is a, a very potential high potential of error right here because it's so complicated the way that the string is made. Um, I can see that I am missing a parentheses. So I fix that. And that is exactly what the unit test is for. To be able to, um, if you imagine if you iterated your code and you changed that on accident, you accidentally pressed a backspace or delete, you move that one character and you didn't test it. And then later your application's failing and you don't know why. <clears throat> unit tests are uh, designed so that you can run them anytime you iterate your code. And you can make sure it's all functioning correctly. So now I, you can see I right clicked, I said run selected tests, and it passed just like I thought it would. So that is how you do unit testing with the Asapi X framework. And the real magic here is that you can use the same classes. You're not going to have to change any part of your code. And it will run against the Eclipse scripting API directly. So you can unit test the facades. And then when you're ready um, to use Eclipse, um, you don't have to change anything. It's going to, it's just going to work. Um, you'll be able to get the same methods. And so all of your unit tests should be valid um, for the actual classes um, as you as you hit the live objects. Okay. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show another cool feature about using facades, and that is multi-threading. So if you're interested in multi-threading, you might want to watch out the next video.